What's good, YouTube? It's your boy P Money. Blazers get a 111 98 victory tonight on the Thunder's home court. Let's go over all the team stats for the Blazers. They shoot 37 of 90 for 41% from the field. They go 15 of 35 for 43% from three point land. They go almost perfect 22 of 23 for 96% from the free throw line. Of their 37 made baskets, they get 16 assists. They pull down 49 rebounds and eight of those offensive. They have eight blocks, they get 12 turnovers and have 10 steals. For the Thunder, they shoot 33 of 88 for 38% from the field. They go 15 of 40 for 38% from the three point line. They go 17 of 22 for 77% from the free throw line. Of their 33 main baskets, they get 23 assists. They pull down 44 rebounds, six of those offensive. They get four blocks, have 14 turnovers, and get seven steals. Individual stats for the Blazers. CJ McCullum leads the way with 27 points on an efficient 10 of 20 shooting. He shoots five of nine from the three point land. He gets two of two from the free throw line. He has a game high plus 25. He pulls down four rebounds, gets three assists, has two turnovers, gets himself a steal and two blocks. So excellent game from CJ McCollum. Uh, Dame Lillard, he goes for 24 points on seven of 19 shooting. He shoots four of eight from three, he goes six of six from the free throw line. He finished up with a plus 16. He pulled down three rebounds, had eight assists, had four turnovers, and got himself a steal. So also big game from Dame Lillard. He hit, uh, I think he went three of three at one point in the third quarter and scored 15. Held the Blazers 29 points, but we'll get into that later. Al Farouk Aminu has a big game offensively. He goes for 19 points on six of, or seven of 16 shooting. He shoots four of nine from three, one of one from the free throw line. He finished up with a plus 20. He grabbed two offensive rebounds, had nine total. Also got himself a steal and a block. So big game offensively from Al Farouk Aminu, playing big boy ball tonight. Mo Hark was also playing big boy ball. He finished up with 15 points on five of 13 shooting. He goes one of four from three. He goes four of four from the free throw line. He finished up with a plus 19. He grabbed an offensive rebound, had 10 total, got himself a, had a turnover, got himself two steals and three blocks. So excellent game from Mo Harkless as he was the primary defender on Paul George. And Paul George did not have a great shooting night. Uh, Enos Cantor, he finished out the starting five with eight points on two of four shooting. He goes to uh, four of four from the free throw line. He finished up with a plus 16. He grabbed two offensive rebounds, had 10 total. Also dished out three assists, had two turnovers, got two steals, and a block. So excellent game from Enos Cantor, especially on the boards and defensively. Zach Collins definitely has his best playoff game of his career, in my opinion. He goes for 10 points on three of five shooting. He goes one of one from three, three of four from the free throw line. He finished up with a negative two. He pulled down two offensive rebounds, had four total, dished out an assist, had two turnovers and got a big block and definitely excellent like offensively that was Collins best game in the playoffs for sure and he's showing off an array of skills that he's he's had in his arsenal but he's executing them and what I've seen from him I like that a lot so continue to work Zach and general salute to you Rodney Hood finished up with four points on one of four shooting he goes 0 of 2 from 3, 2 of 2 from the free throw line. He finished up with a negative 6. He pulled down 2 rebounds and had himself a steal. Myers Leonard, he got 2 points on 1 of 3 shooting. He went 0 of 2 from 3, finished up with a negative 6. He pulled down a rebound and also had a steal. Jake Lehman, he finished up with 2 points on 1 of 1 shooting. He goes for 0. Evan Turner. He finished up with no points on 0-2 shooting. He finished up with a negative nine. He pulled down one offensive rebound, had four total, and also had a turnover. Seth Curry, 
He went for no points on 0 of 3 shooting. He goes for a negative 8. He pulled down two rebounds, had dished out an assist, and got a steal. So while he didn't score, I loved the way he was playing defense. And he got some, some timely boards. So general salute to Seth Curry. Uh, Simons, he got in for a little bit, but he didn't record any, any stats. For the Thunder, Paul George, numbers are kind of misleading tonight. He went for 32 points on 8 of 21 shooting. He goes 4 of 10 from 3. He goes 12 of 14 from the line. He finished up with a negative 2. He pulled down 10 rebounds, dished out 6 assists, had 4 turnovers, got a steal and a block. So, solid game definitely defensively for Paul George, but offensively he wasn't that great. Russell Westbrook was off all night. Well, he was he was on for a little bit in the first quarter, but he finished up with 14 points on a terrible 5 of 21 shooting. He goes terrible. 2 of 7 from 3. He, he missed two free throws. He had two out of four. He finished up with a negative 17. He pulled down three offensive rebounds, had nine total. Dished out seven assists and had three turnovers. So terrible game from Westbrook, especially after that game that he had that pretty much willed his team to win. Uh, Grant, he finished up with 11 points on four of 10 shooting. Uh, he went three of five from three, finished up with a negative 13. He pulled down an offensive rebound, had nine total, dished out two assists, had a turnover and two steals. Steven Adams has his worst game in the playoffs. He goes for six points on three of six shooting. He finished up with a negative 21. He pulled down an offensive rebound, had seven total, dished out an assist, had a turnover, had a steal and a block. But Adams needed to be what he was offensively this whole, this whole series, but he only ended up having six points. So not very good for Steven Adams. Ferguson, he also had three threes last game, but he only finished with three points this game. Went one of seven from the field, one of six from three. Finished up with a negative 18. He pulled down an offensive rebound, had three total. Dished out two assists, had a turnover and a steal. So terrible games from Adams and Ferguson in the starting five. For the bench, Dennis Schroeder, he does what he can. Finished up with 17 points on an efficient 6 of 12 shooting from the field. He goes 2 of 6 from the free th or from 3, 3 of 4 from the free throw line. He got himself a 0. He pulled down 3 rebounds, dished out 3 assists, had 3 turnovers, and got a steal. Raymond Felton was on in this game, but Coach Billy Donovan got to be blamed. But he finished up with 8 points on 3 of 4 shooting, went 2 of 3 from 3, finished up with a plus 2. And he also grabbed a rebound, but he was on the bench for a very long time and obviously fell out of rhythm. Uh, Morris, he only got two shots up, but he went for three points on one of two shooting, one of two from three, finished up with a zero. He pulled down a rebound, had two assists and a block. Maryland's Noel, he, fin he only got three shots, but he finished up with two points, finished up with a plus four. He grabbed a rebound. Had a turnover, a steal, and a block. Uh, Nader got some run. He finished up with two points on one of one shooting. Didn't register any other stats. And then Bert, Burton, he finished up 0 of 1 from the field, 0 of 1 from 3, and also didn't record any other stats. As far as game notes go, this victory that the Blazers had <laughs> finished up eight straight road playoff victories in the playoffs so each team the last two nights on the road has won their playoff games so that's pretty crazy to see I think that's the, only the second time in NBA history that this has happened uh, Blazers get their first road victory since the 2016 playoffs and snaps an eight game road playoff losing streak so excellent win from the Blazers that's, that win gives them a, a commanded 3-1 series lead so, <laughs> it's looking like it's over. Uh, Blazers outscore Thunder in each and every quarter. In that third quarter, Dame scores 15 of the 29 Blazers points. Russ, terrible game again. He finished up with 14 points, shot terrible, 5 of 21 from the field, 2 of 7 from 3, 
two of four from the free throw line, had three turnovers. He did have nine rebounds and seven assists, but that's just not enough. That's not going to get it done. He's got to get them those triple doubles like each game for the Thunder, in my opinion, to have a shot at winning in this, this next game. Paul George, he wasn't really much better, in my opinion. Yeah, he made three more field goals, but he also shot 21 times. He did make four threes out of 10, but his saving grace, again, in my opinion, was those him getting to the free throw line a lot. He got to the line 14 times and made 12 of those, so take those away, and this game doesn't look so great. Uh, CJ, steady all night, 27 points, efficient, 10 of 20 from the field, made five threes out of nine, also had four rebounds, three assists, a steal, two blocks, he did have two turnovers, and that's really all you can <laughs> nitpick about, but he had an excellent game, and him and CJ, or him and Dame are on a mission right now, and it's, it's proof, like, <laughs> it's, it's levels to this, and Portland is clearly the better team right now. Al Farouk Aminu, a huge offensive game. 19 points, four made threes, also got nine rebounds, had a steal and a block. So he was playing hell of a defense as well and scoring. So big game from Al Farouk Aminu. Harkless, he has an excellent all-around game. Just put in 15 points, got himself a double-double with 10 rebounds. Also had two steals, three blocks. And he was a primary defender on Paul George. And he has been this entire series. And Paul George really hasn't played well, in my opinion, as, as far as shooting was in this series. And that's a testament to Mo Harkless. So general salute to Mo. Zach Collins was money offensively tonight. Had 10 points, shot efficiently from the field, three of five. Had even made a three pointer. Got himself four rebounds and an assist, a block, but he did have two turnovers if you want to nitpick. But Blazers got the win. Like I said before, I didn't really think OKC would be able to sustain that type of output from last game. Uh, it just was apparent. Grant, he had 11 points, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Curry, while he only got three shots up, him having those shots just changed the game the way that the team uh, the way that OKC's defense had to cover everyone so those shots were big even though he didn't make any so salute to Curry Portland only had 16 assists but the offense tonight just looked way more fluid plus I mean in part because OKC was in kind of foul trouble Paul George went for three fouls in the, in the second quarter so they couldn't kind of get into a rhythm. Plus, Stephen Adams only had six shots because Portland was putting so much pressure on them that they had to go to their best guys. And that just it's just proof that OKC just doesn't have the type of firepower to even deal with a team like the Blazers right now. So it's just it just keeps getting proved each and every game. Even though they won that last game, <laughs> they needed plus 15 field goals made, or free throws made, and plus 18 total to be able to win that game. Uh, Portland took OKC's best shot in that first quarter, and they had to rely on PG-13 and Russ to get this game, and it was just not enough at all. Like I was saying, Grant, they only had, he only had 11 points, Ferguson three, Morris three, Noel two, let's see. Felton, Felton was the best one after, besides uh, Schroeder, Grant, Westbrook, and George. So, shout out to Felton, but coaching didn't allow him to be to stay in the game while he had the hot hand. So he cooled all the way down. And I appreciate Billy Donovan for that. Uh, but pretty much Collins and Hood off the bench match what four guys for the OKC Thunder did. Also, the Blazers destroyed, the Blazers starters destroyed OKC starters, 93 to 66 tonight. And that was, that was the game right there. Battle of the starters. And Portman definitely outclassed OKC starters. Russ was held to one point in the second half and no field goals. So, J. 
general salute to Dame and team defense on Russ. And that's just unacceptable in his own words. So <laughs> I'm looking for Blazers to close out this game on Tuesday night in the Motor Center. So make sure you guys go ahead and tune in. But this is your boy P Money. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Shouts out to the entire LDBC. Shouts out to all my supporters. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And happy Easter to each and every one of y'all as well. And I'm off this.